Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a brand new vlog. You can see my little suitcase in the background there because today is a going to be a bit of a, a bit of a staycation vlog um, because I feel like there's been a few of those lately. A lot of a lot of um, traveling around. Not that France was a staycation. That was very much a vacation. Uh, today. I have a very exciting sleepover, still within the Cotswolds, but at the very south of the Cotswolds. If I can, I'll pop a little map um, up on the screen here, so if you aren't familiar with the region of the Cotswolds, you can see. And we live right at the very top. We're about as northern Cotswolds as you can possibly get. And my sleepover tonight is in Bath. So we'll be traveling all the way down to the very bottom of the Cotswolds. And um, the, I've never done this road trip before, so I'm really excited to do it. It's gonna be very scenic. I'm purposely gonna avoid big roads um, because then I can hopefully drive through lots of the lovely villages and um, see pretty much <laughs> the whole span of the Cotswolds. So yes, the overnight stay is in Bath and um, I've been very kindly invited by a, a, a company, not, not really a brand, a company called By Rotation, who I have mentioned here on my channel before. Um, it's a website and an app. Their app is actually amazing where you can rent dresses. I think they're starting to do accessories as well. Um, but you may remember quite a while ago, maybe about three weeks ago, I did a wardrobe reshuffle and I went through at the very end of the vlog about 20 if not more dresses that I, and this is not sponsored by the way, um, I am listing on by rotation. So you can actually rent some of my dresses from my wardrobe through the by rotation app, which is, it actually makes me really happy because I feel um, obviously very fortunate to be doing the job that I'm doing, but I recognize that the amount of clothes that I have in my wardrobe is just not normal and not necessary. And I feel sad that some of these clothes are so beautiful and yet they are buried deep within my wardrobe, never to see the light of day until like the one time that I shoot them or wear them. And I hold my hands up and say, I have got far more clothes than a person needs. And that is of course a byproduct of my job. So when I actually had dinner with the founder of By Rotation a couple of months ago now at the Double Red Duke, uh, I was just nodding away like a Winston Churchill dog, like, yes, such a good idea, I can't wait to list my wardrobe on the app. So um, that's who the staycation with is with tonight. Um, I think it's gonna be really fun. And Freddie's gonna be there as well, so we're gonna have a really girly um, sleepover and then maybe do a little bit of exploring Bath tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure how much of that I'll be able to fit into this vlog because uh, where we had <laughs> the trip to Provence, this vlog that I'm fi filming right now, needs to go live tomorrow. So I'll, if I do film anything tomorrow morning, it'll be a very quick edit. But anyway, um, today we are due some really exciting deliveries at the house and I'm really hoping that they're gonna arrive before I have to make my way to Bath. I need to leave home at about two o'clock. Um, so I thought I would do a little, uh, but I do have some other little bits that arrived while we're in France and some of which I think you'll be very interested in. So um, first of all, let me just quickly go through a couple of beauty products. I had a very generous delivery from Beauty Pie and it's just such a good idea. So Beauty Pie acts as a bit of a subscription service. You can make get sign up with your subscription and then I believe um you get points each month or like a, a, say you get say you get like 50 points. Um that translates to for example like 50 pounds and then you can buy 50 pounds worth of products each month from their website. I've not done a huge amount of research, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And the products are um, made by Beauty Pie, but from the same production facilities as very high-end products. And you're paying for the product, not this like crazy marketing behind the massive beauty brands. And the products inside are literally the same as what you pay like five or 10 times the price for. So I think it's a great company. It's a really good idea. And I have heard amazing things about their products. Last night I tried their Fruity Zyme AHA resurfacing five minute facial. So I popped this on um, before getting in the shower. And to be honest, with an AHA face mask, I like to feel it working like you do with the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. And maybe that's what this is duping, who knows. 
Um, but I actually didn't feel my skin reacting to this, so maybe it's a bit more mild. But I feel like my skin is really glowing today and the proof is in the pudding. So very happy with this. And I like to have quick face masks that I can pop on just before getting in the shower. That's when I get the most regular use out of face masks. So very happy to have discovered that. Um, and then this morning as well, I put in, and I think these look beautiful. These are called the Awesome Bronze Sun Kissed Glow Self Tanning Drops. And I just love how big this bottle is like sometimes with tanning drops the bottle is like teeny tiny to be fair you only need a couple of drops and I like to put it in with a serum and they did also send me a hyaluronic serum but I'm still using my one from Clé de Peau and I don't like to have too many serums open at one time so I added a couple of drops of this into my Clé de Peau serum is it Clé de Peau? And it's a really easy way of just getting that gradual, consistent glow on your skin. I also love and have tried out for longer Pestle and Mortars face tanning drops. I'll leave both. I don't know if I can link Beauty Pie down below, actually, because you have to be part of the subscription. I'll leave the subscription down below because I do think it's a great idea. And I'll also leave the Pestle and Mortar tanning drops link down below because those I used all throughout last autumn winter. It's just a really easy way to keep on top of having a nice glow to your skin. So um, very much a fan of the products that I've tried from Beauty, Fi <laughs> Beauty Pie so far. Next thing to report... I've started carrying my products upstairs um, to the dressing room in this big basket so I feel like a little snow white with all my beauty products. Um, so I had a delivery, uh, it's, it's been a great <laughs> weekend of deliveries while we're away and it's from Liz Earl and I believe that they have got, hopefully it's still live while this video goes up, I think they've got a special deal with QVC at the moment. Um, so it's their patchouli and vetiver botanical face and body gift and I am a huge fan of Lizelle when friends ask me for cleanser recommendations 90% of the time I ask my friends their skin type etc and 90% of the time I end up recommending Lizelle cleanse and polish and once you try this you do become a convert and I would say it is still my favorite cleanser of all time so hopefully the QVC deal is still live and I'll leave a link down below um, but yeah you've got the the cleanse and polish and it does come with the face cloth which is great because I definitely need to chuck some of my older ones out. I say chuck them out, I use them as cleaning cloths once they are a bit too tatty to use as face cloths. Their botanical body cream smells heavenly and it's one that just keeps you hydrated for, oh my gosh, oh, that, is, that is definitely their best smell they've ever done. I loved their Neroli as well when they did the cleanse and polish in the Neroli. That smells really like <laughs> my garden. <laughs> this is what I smell like when I've been gardening. Um, oh, I'm so... I didn't know that they had the cleanse and polish in patchouli and vetiver. <sighs> Gorgeous. Uh, and that is a great size as well. This will come with me tonight for our staycation. And obviously the act of removing the cleanser with the cloths gives you a little bit of an, a light exfoliation as well. But that's a great one to have in my bathroom. Um, botanical body wash. And then the Lizelle Instant Boost Skin Tonic. I also love when this comes in spray form because it's just very, very refreshing. And what's this little mini? Skin Repair Light Cream, okay. For the 72 hours of balanced hydration. I've not tried that before. Yes, huge fan of Lizelle and great way to discover them. So then I had a delivery from The Humble Co. And they, I believe they're mostly focused around dental care. So they sent a replaceable toothbrush developed by dentists, loved by nature. So this is the toothbrush. And obviously this is plastic free, which is fantastic. The toothbrush's handle is made from 100% biodegradable, sustainably grown bamboo. That's good. It's naturally antibacterial, so there's no need to use fertilizers and pesticides during cultivation. Every humble purchase goes towards funding oral care projects for children in need. Box is recyclable. Very good. We love to hear about companies doing their bit for the environment. And yeah, completely plastic free. And they also do plastic free cotton swabs, 100% biodegradable bamboo sticks. Why do big companies not do this? I love that 
there are so many companies starting that have a conscience but it would just make such a big impact globally if like the big companies mass producing plastic toothbrushes actually were like hang on we can make these out of bamboo we can actually not <laughs> pollute the ocean with our plastic toothbrushes and these are bamboo i think it's toothpicks interdental sticks and floss picks see if they oh wow see even they're not plastic and i thought they would be but apparently they're made out of cornstarch and they're charcoal infused with a taste of mint with a taste of mint genius see where there's a will there's a way and they've even popped in some natural toothpaste tablets they are great. I've not tried this brand before, but I have tried some from, I don't actually know, I think I pinched them as a hotel room freebie. And they're great to have in your handbag, if, especially when you've had a mask on all day um, and you've had a coffee and the coffee is just fumigating you. Um, and then another delivery was the Fresh Affair, refreshing dry shampoo from Carastars. And I just love the packaging of this. It's like a cloudy pink and it looks beautiful the oil absorption fine fragrance root and hair refresher i don't need to use dry shampoo at the moment so i will take this and my little mini cleanse and polish from nizelle in my overnight bag for tonight and now in my opinion one of the most exciting things that arrived um were two mirrors from will i get the brand name right is it ricky reiki ricky I don't know. Basically, I've got one on here. Let's see if it actually makes any difference if I turn it off. Not that much, actually, because I'm using daylight. But earlier, when I was doing my makeup, this was amazing. So, ooh, I have to be careful how I show you. This is the one, this is the one that I think I will probably get the most use out of. In fact, I used this yesterday afternoon when I had a Zoom call because my Zoom call was at half past four and it was already so dark. But I just turned this on and the light and propped it up behind my laptop and the lighting was absolutely amazing. It's really slim too. Um, so I think, again, this will come with me when I'm traveling. There's a few different settings. The little battery sign there is flashing at me. I think it's the same charger as my laptop so I'll pop this on charge before we go and as you can see it's also got a little um, suction thing so if you're in a hotel and there's a mirror but it's not very well lit you could suction this onto the mirror suction it onto a window I think that's gonna be really really useful and the fact that it's flat as well makes it great for packing so that's again definitely gonna come with me just in case lighting in the hotel is not mm. ideal um and let me show you the final one okay so oh my gosh why are there so many flies in here maybe i need to actually release them be free okay so here is the other incredible mirror from i think it's called reiki loves reiki because Re down here it's reiki can you see it reiki heart reiki now this is I know this room is obviously full of mirrors, so you might be thinking, Josie, is that really necessary? Well, with my job and coming into the very dark months, I actually think this is going to be a little bit of a lifesaver because I often have to shoot things for beauty campaigns or even, you know, Instagram stories for fashion collaborations. And seeing as this is literally the only window in this area, I actually only have this teeny tiny little window at the end of this room. So aside from when it is perfect blue skies, like it is right now, which is very, very rare, the lighting in here is less than ideal. Um, so as we come into those darker months, I do find it really challenging to get good quality lighting for the content that I need to create for work, um, but also for doing my makeup. So I thought this could be incredibly useful. I actually took this downstairs to the kitchen yesterday because I had to shoot some sponsored stories for all plants love them so much um, and it just made everything so much easier because this is generally quite a dark house so this is just fantastic I'm not sure about my setup obviously it's um, very messy here at the moment this is a tripod I was using a second ago because I don't have a plug directly behind this so at the moment I've just got the wire coming out the front 
which is, yeah, obviously not ideal, but the product seems to be fantastic, I think. Yeah, it works by remote. You can actually attach this to your phone and do Bluetooth settings. You can press the button here so that your phone takes a photo because it has this ultra jazzy little magnetic thing. Look at that. And then your phone slots in there. So if you're doing Instagram stories, you just have the most perfect lighting in the whole world and you can turn up the brightness and if you can see on camera turn down the brightness um yeah so for any content creators this is just a little bit of a game changer and it's just such a good oh and you know what you guys are going to enjoy this much more for outfit of the day features because I know that um, you don't love when I show outfit of the day in my antique effect mirror. So yes, I think that's going to be really useful for me, especially for the work that I need to do throughout the dark and gloomy months. Speaking of outfit of the day, so I have just been um, working from home this morning and I have got on a jumper that I got from Reese last year, just one of those classics. And then you may remember they caused a little bit of controversy last year. It was very much a, a Marmite, love it or hate it. These are my Burberry jodhpurs with the leather patch on the knees. Um, and then I've got my Chloe boots on. So I actually had to shorten the leggings because they were a little bit long and the buttons were a little bit too raised, which meant it was a bit uncomfortable to wear them with boots. So the buttons are now replaced with much flatter options and we have shortened them um, and now I'm much, much happier with them and I'm finally going to get some more wear out of them because they were a very expensive piece and I really did not wear them last year. This autumn winter I'm determined to get more wear out of those pieces that I invested in last year, which hopefully I will because the world is far more open now in autumn, winter 2021. But anyway, I am gonna finish packing. I don't even think I need to pack a dress for tonight because I think we're gonna be renting one from By Rotation. So I'll catch up with you shortly. Okay, my darlings, it's a few hours later. Ended up being a really busy morning. I had loads of little bits that I needed to film um, and I thought I'd rather get them done now and then not have to stress about them on Friday because I think I'm gonna head to Bista Village. This corner is always so tight when you are driving a tank. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to go to Vista Village on Friday, so that'll probably be in another vlog, um, but I thought I'd get so much done today. Uh, we also had a few technical glitches which were fairly stressful, so I'm actually quite happy to now have a two-hour drive because I actually find driving when I'm alone in the car so relaxing. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be a really scenic drive. I've got my flapjack, I've got my bottle of water, I need to set up my sat-nav. Number 15, Great Pulteney. Wow, two hours and two minutes. <sighs> Who would have thought the Cotswolds is so massive? So I will catch up with you when in Bath. Okay, road trip update. I am only half an hour into the road trip. There are a lot of traffic lights on this route, a lot of traffic lights. I'm basically driving on a road called the Fossway and it's a Roman road thankfully has been relayed since Roman times and it basically carves straight through the Cotswolds. So um, it's a pretty straight road, but it also happens to go through all of the most kind of famous touristy villages. I imagine when all the borders open up again, this road will be very, very busy. I think it is probably how most tourists, oh, green light. Um, yeah, I imagine it gets very busy. Even today I have seen coaches uh, like coach loads of, I'm presuming, of tourists coming to explore these villages. But I'm about to drive through Stowe on the Wold, which is a beautiful market town, already driven through Morton and Marsh. Um, so, yeah, it's just really lovely to see all these beautiful Cotswold villages, which just happen to all be on my route.
made it to the room and what a scenic drive that was. Oh my goodness. I tried to turn my camera on quickly if I thought I was going to go through a photogenic area. We drove through the Cotswold Villages, we drove through Tetbury, which I really want to stop off at on the way home because it is antique central and then driving into Bath. Oh, and we drove um, through Westonbert, which is where Westonbert Arboretum is, which is just so beautiful as the trees, this time of year especially, as the trees are changing color, <sighs> stunning. Um, and then as you approach Bath, I had to go down this little winding lane and then had to pay one pound toll to cross a bridge. And I tried to show my camera out the window really quickly because it was so stunning. And then the winding lanes as you approach the higgledy piggledy streets of Bath with their iconic kind of honey coloured um, stone facades, really Regency style, very Bridgerton, um, but just checked into my room at number 15 Great Pulteney, I think that's what it's called, and now when I check into rooms I have a whole different pair of eyes, is that the expression? I look at these rooms with fresh eyes now that we have a holiday rental as well. Um, so I'm going to show you around and show you some of my favourite little features. Well, isn't this just spectacular? This is uh, room number 18, if you are planning on coming here and asking for a particular room. It's room number 18. And, oh, I mean, what a gorgeous, gorgeous headboard. It's kind of like a full poster bed, but not really really cool we have got some little goodies here oh my goodness okay this is what we need to do for straw top cottage this is a beautiful little hand sketched um map of the area oh yes okay we have to do something like this for the cottage things to do if you're here for the day things to do if you're staying for the weekend yes gorgeous branding um, here is our little itinerary perfect i'm actually having my spa treatment tomorrow Oh, a little welcome note. My key, gosh, that is a bougie key. Oh my gosh, <gasps> some little treats here. Babel hand-painted candles, relief balm, chocolate. Oh, little bi-rotation stickers. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is adorable. This is what I mean about like a typical bath style building. Very Regency Palladium kind of style. Um, and then I've got a little living area over here and this is a little house which has been cleverly crafted to conceal the amenities in the room. Look at that. Coffee machine tucked away in there and apparently upstairs there's a pantry where you can go and get milk and cakes and things like that. Little tray. Look at this as well, oh my gosh, a newspaper with all, I guess, things to do or um, information about the guest houses. So much inspo here for Straw Top Cottage. Drinks menu, things to know while you're here, like the Wi-Fi. Okay, yeah, definitely need to do something like this at the cottage. There's even a Crossley record player, Dyson air wrap, Dyson um, air purifier fan. How lovely, they've got 100 acres products. Little sink here, very cool, like hand-painted sink style. And all importantly, what all great hotel rooms need and often lack, which is a full-length mirror. That was my phone dinging. Oh, in fact, let me show you this updated outfit of the day. So I popped on this lovely dress from Karen Millen with this beautiful kind of scarf pattern on it. And then my long line shielding gilet from River Island. Um, and then I've got on my Chloe boots. Okay, so we've made it down to the Great Pulteney Room. It's very colourful, as you can see. This is actually where we're having dinner later on. The table looks gorgeous. And I have found a certain someone perusing the dresses. Yeah, Freddie has dinner. found the feathers. I mean, I think you've got to try it, darling. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. So cool. Oh, so as I mentioned earlier in my video, by rotation, have such a gorgeous selection of dresses, which you can rent if you've got a wedding or a holiday or a special party. Such a good idea. Like, I will honestly do that from now. Like, I feel like it's I a know. Move. 
concept that people will have to get used to. But yes. I love the idea, especially for occasions. I hate buying a dress to wear once. Yeah. It's so wasteful. And exactly. Annoying. And this would literally be the perfect solution. And I don't know about you, but all the dresses that I wear more than once that I are, are like my white dresses, mm -hmm. and you can't wear them to a wedding. And I don't have that many colourful yeah, dresses. That's so true. So for colourful so dresses, true. I have just spotted on the rail. Look at this: a pair of Christian Dior trousers. So but I don't have a white top with me, so I'm going to try one of Freddie's little blouses. Well, it's so a fingers little crossed. bralette. Little actually. bralette, ooh la la. It would actually look really pretty with that, I think. I hope so, if it fits. <laughs> if not, I'm coming in my pyjama top. Okay, so we've got our priorities right. <laughs> Freddie and I have a lot to catch up on today, but more importantly, we have to come to the pantry. It's oh my like gosh. It's like all over again. We're going to little piglets <laughs> popping the pantry at midnight. Oh like, my gosh. An hour. So the oh. hotel has like this little room with sweeties and fruit and um is there ice cream down there yeah there's ice cream mm. there's Grapes. sweet i love this stuff Ooh, wait you're a sweet and salty mm. oh well, no you're sweet and salty but i never get just sweet i agree i like salted yeah. okay i'm gonna get a salted popcorn oh this is so fun and i like these fizzy kale bottles okay and jazz darlings it's a few hours later unfortunately the christian dior trousers are just a little bit tight on me i think that if i wasn't planning on eating a whole lot of yummy food tonight i probably could have got away with it but i did sadly <laughs> not really i did see that there is uh, risotto on the menu so i just don't want, i just don't need that kind of restriction in my life so i have gone for my lovely zimmerman dress which i don't think i actually showed you in my provence vlog because i actually ended up changing into it after wearing um, the self-portrait boucle kind of jacket and skirt combination because the self-portrait turned out to be really itchy um, but then by the time I changed we were in a rush to go so I didn't get to show you but I think this is quite possibly my favourite Zimmerman dress at the moment it's got um, this little belt which is almost horse bit in style, a little bit Gucci-esque um, just the most beautiful silhouette so this is what I'm wearing this evening. And then I've got on my little River Island sandals, which literally go with everything. I would like to show you Madame's outfit of the day. Bonjour, bonjour. What are you wearing, my darling? So I'm wearing this absolutely stunning dress from a brand called Havana. Havana? Havana. It's like an ivory satin and it's just so flattering. Like I wore this to the um, premiere of the Diana Phil and Spencer and gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Oh, and um, the Daily Mail called you a beauty they, they with a I, flattering figure. What did they say? Cut a beautiful, cut shape. a beautiful figure. No, something like that. A heavenly. Oh. Cut a heavenly figure. Yes. I cut a heavenly figure. You <laughs> sure do, darling. It is absolutely beautiful. And, and the necklace. And my necklace. Yeah. So this is from a brand called Lara Heems, who I met at the weekend, and she gifted me this gorgeous oh, it's necklace. so sparkly. Um, and these earrings that I'm just about to put in. Wow. Studs. So pretty. Very sparkly and gorgeous. Oh, you look wonderful, my darling. So beautiful. what a bright and beautiful day and what a perfect start to the day i've actually oh sorry i've got really itchy lashes <laughs> um i woke up at my usual time this morning so um a little bit earlier than freddie who did come and sleep over with me last night uh, went down and had a coffee got a little bit of work done and then i had a heavenly treatment here they've got a spa on the lower ground floor and i had a treatment called lessen the stress and i believe my masseuse um her name was katie i really hope i've got that right pretty sure it was katie and oh my gosh she was incredible it was about half an hour back massage and i asked her to really focus on my neck um and then i flipped over and it was a facial but like a relaxing facial so a really lovely oil cleanser um exfoliator had a scalp massage so i'm very oily on my um in my hair which is why my sunglasses will be very tactically used this morning and i have also spritzed myself with the uh kerastase uh 
refreshing dry shampoo again. Very glad I bought that with me. Look at the light in this room at the moment. It feels almost Parisian and waking up to this view. Look at this just spectacular view. There's a gorgeous park down there. Um, but Freddie and I are heading out to explore. I think the town is just like a couple of minutes walk that way. And what a perfect day to explore. Quick outfit of the day. I have stolen Freddie's Chloe Tess. She has found this gorgeous pink version. It's almost like a pearlescent pink. I might have to steal it. And I've got on my Zimmerman uh, long linen dress. I haven't actually steamed it, um, but it's not looking too bad. I did steam it at home. And then the same River Island shearling long line sleeveless coat and Fendi sunglasses, uh, the accessories and actually the dress you can get on Farfetch and you can use my discount code which I'll leave on the screen again. Um, I think you've probably got about 10 days left of that code working but anyway without further ado, look at that view. Aside from our mess, it's time to go and explore Bath. We've made it into the fresh air, just wanted to show you the outside of this building. It's one of these, I'm pretty sure they're Regency, but I will correct myself on the screen if I'm wrong. And I think straight down here is town. They've even got a cute little bike, I wonder what they deliver in there. Maybe they go out and get fresh supplies from the boulangerie in the mornings. Not that we're in Paris, but never mind. found a boulangerie, a little French patissier or patisserie. Oh, raspberry and pistachio macarons are my favorite. What is your favorite macaron, madame? Oh, pistachio. Pistachio, yes, me too. Really? I thought you might have been a framboise kind of gal. No, I, I always go and Do you? I would I'm say vanilla is my number three, raspberry is my number two, especially when it has actual raspberry jam in the middle. I, I do quite like raspberry, but it's a bit too fruity. I just yeah. Like sweet, sweet, sweet. Ooh! Oh, we get some on the way back. Well, we found New Bond Street. Apparently, we are in the thick of it here. And there's some fantastic shops Penelegans, L'Occitan. Um, there's a Space NK down there, an Aesop. And we've decided that we love bars. People, people are so are nice. So friendly here. A lady just came up to us and a lady just came up to us and said, Is this how you dress every day? We were like, Yes, <laughs> it is. So sweet. Oh my gosh. And apparently, this direction is a little bit more oldie worldy shops and that way is the modern stores so we're gonna go up the oldie worldie yeah Can definitely we? yes lovely This is a store called Vinegar Hill. I did pick up those candles and a little sausage dog Christmas card. It's one of those stores with so many lovely looking gifts. So it's a cookbook, they've got some lovely cookbooks. Jewelry, crockery, little festive trinkets. And Freddie's bought a little bird. <laughs> there it goes. come into the bath or market and it's like a bougie version of Brixton Village. <laughs> That's so lovely. Oh look ahead. Coffee and cake. Oh here. Perfect. This must be what tourist dreams are made out of. Perfect. Croissant. So Freddie and I have discovered that they're filming Willy Wonka in uh, Bath while we're here. 
These are the film and TV lorries. They've taken over this whole parade, which is very naughty of them because we want to go and look at the view because the river is down there. Oh, look at this. It's safe to say that we are falling in love with Bath. been approached by the film production company to be Oompa Loompas within the next Willy Wonka film so keep a look out for that <laughs> you'll see us skipping along in the background um, and because we're in ultra tourist mode despite the fact that we're only a couple of hours from home we might go on the city uh, sightseeing bar hop, hop on hop off yes that I really want to it's magical here like the colour of the buildings look around us so beautiful. You don't, this view just feels so like out of London. I can't explain it. You just don't. It's, I love it. It's amazing. It's like the ultimate Cotswold place. I can see why tourists come here. I really, really can. Um, and I think we're quite close to the Bath Spa because it is a spa town, and the water here is like heated by geothermal something or others. Um, so the water is mineral water, and it's really naturally warm. Oh, so that's why you were saying, first just drink the tap water. It's yeah, fine. it's mineral water. Oh, like Evian hasn't got anything on this. We used to tempt. I know, I know. <laughs> so we might see if we can have a little look at the spa. There is, um, I seem to remember there's like a stone building, probably literally this one, um, where you can just go in and see the actual old Roman bath. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, as opposed to the spa. Yeah. Okay, let's go and have a look. <laughs> I've lost her, she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Today. Oh my god! Yeah! This one's going to be honeycomb, that one's vanilla, then we've got rum, rose, and maple walnut, and that's just Wow. Two chaps are carrying snow uh, chemicals, so they're going to be making it snow in Bath. That's a Willy massive Wonka. camera rig. Willy, Willy Wonka. Is that your audition, darling? Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Isn't it? Willy Wonka. I always like to see how expensive the houses are. Oh, this is right by our hotel. As well. Henrietta Street. Yeah. So three, bedroom three bedroom apartment, apartment in the Georgian townhouse. 895,000. A beautifully restored, oh, that's literally on our street, Great Pulteney Street. Grade two, one listed Georgian townhouse, five bedrooms, 2.3 million. Well, it's not cheap, but it's beautiful. It's fine. hotel for an afternoon tea which was lovely I ate a lot of uh, mustard which one did you have uh, the egg mayo mm, I like really the egg mayo nice. as well and That's now cool. yeah me too and now we are finishing our tourist day in Bath with a trip to the Royal Crescent. I've not got any lipstick on my top lid and it looks very peculiar. No, <laughs> Makeup's just completely gone. Um, but let me show you what we're seeing right now because it is rather spectacular. So this is the Royal Crescent. I think this is probably one of the most expensive places you can live in Bath and it's just an iconic crescent of ba Bathian, Bathian, Bath style <laughs> houses. <laughs> They are rather spectacular and look at this view they've got and at the moment it's just even more wonderful because the trees are all changing colour. It's so magical. It's so magical. Imagine also being at the top, like the view <gasps> to not just see the oh. trees but also just like the city. I'm really surprised the they don't have, um, well it looks like maybe they do have roof terraces because there's some windows up there. I'd definitely climb out of the window if I lived there. Beautiful. Again, darlings. Um, well, welcome to the real life of a YouTuber. I have 
pulled up on a really beautiful side street with my laptop um, so that I can actually edit this video and get it exporting and maybe even uploading on my personal hotspot um, ready to go live tonight. So this is without doubt the quickest vlog turnaround I've ever done. It reminds me of the days when I used to daily vlog um, and sometimes you would just have to do the weirdest things in order to get Wi-Fi. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just wanted to sign off. It's been such a lovely has it even been 24 hours? Just over 24 hours um, within this vlog. A really lovely stay in Bath and I'd highly recommend that hotel if I come back to Bath. When I come back to Bath, I'd really like to stay at the 15 Great Pulteney again. Um, it's actually owned by three brothers who, I'm sure she said they were in the, they invented something within the plumbing world um, and then they decided to go into hospitality and that's their first hotel and they're launching a couple more I think they said in Bath, no, um, Brighton and Yorkshire, York, so I'll have to check those out as well. It's been a lovely, lovely uh, overnight stay with by rotation. My wardrobe is now available to rent on by rotation which is really exciting. Um, I will leave a link down below if I have it yet. Um, I should have it. If not, you can probably search my name in the by rotation app. If you would like to rent my wardrobe, which is such a wonderful idea, um, especially for those one-off occasions. And again, this is not sponsored. I just think it's a fantastic idea. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to rent my wardrobe, then check that out. I've dropped Freddie at the station. I'm gonna add this clip into the vlog and then get it exporting as I drive home pull in somewhere, get it going on my personal hotspot, but this video probably will go live a little bit late tonight, so now you know why. If you did get to the end, darlings, leave the word laptop in the comments down below, fit it into a sentence in a sneaky way. Um, and darlings, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.